is Dr. Chris at Rock and Shock 2016, and I'm here with Reggie Bannister, star of the Phantasm Five films. I don't know what you call a five film series. Five films. Huh? Five films. Not a trilogy. It's not a quadrilogy. It's a. It's a uh, a fiveology. No, I don't know. I don't I know. Do. And you're also in Bubba Hotep and Wishmaster, Bubba but Hotep, Wish your Hotep. biggest claim to fame is being in all five Phantasm movies, and yeah. they haven't been remade, they haven't been reimagined. No, They're no. one after the other. You're yeah. the only franchise other than Chucky's that really do that and still star all of the original cast members. I know. It's uh, it's it's really neat. You know, Don uh, Coscarelli uh, has just, you know, he just has this vision or has had this vision over the years. Uh, the first two pictures I did with him were back in the 70s, early 70s. Uh, one was called uh, uh, Jim the World's Greatest, and uh, one was called uh, uh, Kenny and Company. And Michael Baldwin was in that. And he was, I played a teacher, uh, and I was Michael's teacher, actually. Okay, yeah. Michael, your co-star. Michael Baldwin, yeah, the kid. Uh, the kid. The kid, who was replaced in two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With James Legro. And I heard that 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 fans believe that because that wasn't Michael, that was the tall man playing a trick on you, and that's a different. Well, uh, have you ever heard that story? No, I haven't. But that's a good story. Horror Hound magazine when they ran a big yeah. article about the Phantasm uh-huh. movies, it that was, it was in just there. a trick. They uh, said that there there had been fan theories that your um, sidekick, your uh, Michael's uh-huh. character, uh, Michael's character's name is uh, yeah Mike. Mike. Yeah. Uh, was replaced by the phantasm the the tall man and oh, that's pretty cool yeah and that's yeah. why it wasn't him you know you know that actor did a fine job yeah. that movie's yeah, always a little outside the series because of the controversy yeah. with the copyright and blah oh, yeah. blah blah and shit oh, i don't yeah. care about yeah no i can dig it you know is it because you know it was a big studio film uh, the second the third one the universal studios okay. so um you know they sort of had their way with it in in a certain sense I will say this: they they allowed Don to just like kind of do his own thing, good, uh, which is good. I hate studio involvement. Uh you know, it, it just can complicate things. Sometimes. Yeah, I know you're gonna be a little more polite about it than I can because yeah, you want to you keep working. You know, I want to keep working. <laughs> that's true. Um, uh, but you happy about yeah. Ravager? Yeah, I'm very very pleased with that picture. And when uh, did you finish filming that? Uh, we finished it, uh, oh, I don't know, several months ago. Uh, no, longer than that. Finished uh, filming? It was like 2014, towards, uh, 15? We, were, we actually shot it over a period of three years, but we worked on it wow. longer than that. Okay, that I didn't know. Yeah. Because yeah. all uh, stuff you can find out about the, on the commentary. Oh, yeah, I know. But you've yeah. done almost every commentary in those films. Yeah, Don, uh, Don wrote the, the original, or had the original concept, and then... Dave Hartman came along, uh, and uh, Dave's a terrific uh, guy, uh, very talented. He's an animator as well. He used to work for Disney gotcha. and Hasbro, uh, and uh, uh, so he was a terrific director on Ravager. And Don, of course, oversaw the whole thing as executive producer, and uh, it was like you know old times. It was great. Of the, of the five, and you can yeah. even include Bubble Hotep in there. What, yeah. what has been your favorite uh, Don Coscarelli film? Don Coscarelli film? Well, I, th- I think without a doubt the Phantasm series is... Uh, As a know, whole, you love it? You can't pick one? The the whole thing, you know, it's just... It's difficult to pick one because they're, they're both so integral one to the other, you know, until you get through five. And uh, when you see five, you'll see what I mean. That'll make a lot of sense to you. You've also been one of the luckiest guys in horror. You've been with some of the most beautiful women in those movies. Oh, Hot Babes is Us. You, um, every every one of those movies, your I character know. is like, like just wheeling and dealing with some chick. Even if she's a, the tall man in disguise, you're still like getting in it with her. But the, you know, the only... <laughs> Your wife must be like, what, what, what movie, girl, are you with in this movie? The, <laughs> the only problem is I never really nail them, you know? I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, a, I think probably the closest I came was when, uh, with Gloria. Uh, that was... And I got to be in bed with three, her. Four. I, that was four. Four, okay. Yeah. That was the girl with the uh, the, the balls uh, Oh, no, chest. that well, that was Dawn. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that, actually, that was pretty close, okay. too, but then... She grows these balls. I mean, I don't know what that was happened. So weird. Oh, it was it was whacked out, and it just 
And of course, then I run out the door, and I, out the door I'm trying to hide, uh, you know. And I run out the door, and the, yeah. the ball comes and hits the door from the other side and almost nails me. Did you ever get to keep a prop ball? No. Um, yeah, we've got. Uh, I didn't get to keep any of Don's balls. Damn it, Don. <laughs> Uh, but Don's kept his own balls. He's kept he kept his own balls. And ball. you have your balls. I mean, I have my and I I do. I have my balls, and uh, we have several balls at home that other people have made. Um, do you always like it when a hand when a fan signs you a set of balls to sign? Oh, they're, well, they're you know they're various uh, shapes and sizes. Well, some are bigger, you know, bigger balls. Yeah. And uh, and there, there's one that I've got that's really neat. It's on. It's it's part of a whole situation. It's on a, a a marble kind of a platform. It's about I don't know, foot by a foot and a half. Okay. And there's, uh, there's people can see what you're doing by oh, audio recording. Oh, yeah. There's, there's uh, <laughs> yeah right. Uh, and there's poles that come out of the, oh, the like marble the, yes. okay. bottom. Yep. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. And then there's a, a a thing that comes up and it holds a ball. It holds a sphere. So uh, they built me the thing and the and the spirit. It's really cool. Hey Joe, Joe, this be a conversation you but we're talking about balls and phantasm. Yeah. 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 He's got a set of balls. I got a set of balls. I got one. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, your wife's got yeah. a set of balls. So we I all know. got some balls. To play. I asked him about how many fans come up with a set of balls for him to sign. <laughs> well, think about when I get balled up against the wall. Yeah. You know, that's. Uh, <laughs> she did that. She hung all those balls on me, and uh, there I was hanging. What can you uh, say about uh, working with Angus over the five films and his uh, passing? Oh, uh, you know, uh, he was just a lot of fun to work with. He was uh, uh, just, you know, a, a consummate professional. And uh, uh, did you ever see his uh, Lincoln? Short film that was on yes. Phantasm Two yes. uh, Blu-ray. Yeah, yeah, that was and, pretty cool. And you can actually, uh, I think, you can go online and see that as well. That was kind and of cool. They packed that into the Screen Factory release. I know. Are that you excited neat. that all five are coming out for the first time together in a box set? Uh, we have heard the all, all five Phantasm movies are going to be December. in one set. December, I so you know, get your Christmas money. So all out. the studios got their shit together and yep. figured out their licensing and. Yeah. Don did it, yeah. Don, Don overran them. <laughs> good, good. Yeah, yeah. Is it a Scream Factory release? I don't know. I'd hope so. They, they do a good job. They did a nice job before. Shout? Shout is Scream Factory is the horror division of Shout. Okay, so oh, okay. Be... That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Don't hold me to I haven't seen Ravager yet. It's I, I know it's on demand. If I have a chance to see it, I'll rent it. Otherwise, I'll just wait and buy it because I believe in physical media. Oh, I don't yeah. believe in that piracy shit either. Oh, no, I can dig it. Yeah. yeah. Do you get a copy of the films you, you uh, are in sent to you? We, no, we no. have to buy our own copy. Oh, Scream didn't send, send you a copy? Pages, no. Buy our own copies. We don't even have a copy of Scream. I, I asked him yeah. that at the beginning. I was like, "Where are the Phantasm Five yeah. posters?" We only have the nada. Robert do you ever? Did you ever? Uh, do you ever get people coming up dressed as you as the ice cream man? Yeah, well, I, yes. that's happened. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, I'll see him walk in the room, you know, in a big convention hall. See him come through the door, and I go, "Yeah, you know, I look at him, I point Long at him." And I, I had seen. I'd yeah. only ever seen like one. I think two was the first movie I'd ever watched oh, yeah. of the of the Phantasm movies. Uh-huh. I watched it as a very young age. It was on TV. I didn't know oh. what the fuck I was watching. I, I must have been know. eight or nine. I, I'm alone at home, like flipping through the channels. Oh, hey, what's this? this we totally cool. screwed you up, right? That's that's <laughs> doing this that's show. why you're sitting here today, man. And Come I always Chris. remember when you're like you're sitting in the chair, you're sitting in the car, you think you get yeah. away, and you're yeah. feeling her hair, and you pull her scalp off, and you're like, I'm like, oh, <gasps> oh I know. And I, for years, I couldn't figure out what that movie was because two was unavailable for yeah. anyone to see. And then finally, I uh, I rent, I borrowed my roommate's copy. He had the one of the few DVD releases of it. Watched it and I was like, oh my god, this is fantastic. I can't believe I've been an idiot this long. Yeah, no, you know, and, and like I said, you know, uh, Reggie doesn't have good luck with women. No. Not at all. I mean, he's just he's just about ready to get down and something weird happens, you know. <laughs> Did you hear about the Phantasm TV series? Uh, no. Uh, we heard about... Uh, no, but there's a, supposedly there's a Phantasm TV series in development. Really? No. Damn. Yeah, this was on. Contacted uh, us. I'm not going to name the source just because I don't remember. But yeah. after five came out, there was a thing on Facebook saying 
uh, Phantasm won't end here. Dawn and talks about TV series. Huh. So I'm like, what? I mean, look at all the things that were getting rebooted into TV series that are successful. Well, Ash vs. Well, Evil Dead, The Dawn Exorcist. Is very adamant about not doing you gotta come close if you're gonna. Don is very adamant about not doing reboots. I am too. Okay. Yeah. And um, but have you seen and that the... was also Ang- one of Angus's uh, oh. last things. He does a he didn't want to see anything rebooted. Um, but By the way, if you guys are still in town, we started to do a web. Uh, a, we this project started out as a web series. Okay. And we were going to do a web series. The Ravager. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it started out named as Reggie Tales. Oh, I heard that. Yeah. And so that may be where that came from. It started out as a website. Now, I remember you guys said you're here till Monday. If you want to go see the fan, the tall man yourself and not a guy in the costume, you need to go to Showcase Cinema North in Worcester. Everyone who lives in Worcester is well aware of the theater manager looks like Angus. Does he really? He, like, every single time I'm there. Wow. He is tall. And you tall. expect us to go look for the, the tall the, man? He's got, yeah. the, he's got <laughs> the hairstyle. He's got the face structure. Yeah. And he is intimidating looking. And every time... looking for Yeah, and, and one time I did go up to him and ask him, have you ever been asked if you look like... If you've seen... He's like, the Phantasm heart. Yes, I've never seen them. I'm not a horror fan. He talks like this to me. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm aware of it. Everyone who comes here, <laughs> he's like rolling his eyes. He's oh, like, dude, just probably just watch the first one. <laughs> but yeah, you want to go see a real life tall man? <laughs> Showcase Cinema North in Worcester, Massachusetts. We have our very own. Well, you know, um, uh, Angus uh, Scrim, uh, uh, he's he and I finally get to do scenes together uh, in Ravager. Oh, that's right. You guys yeah. are not really. Yeah, you interact that much. I, you know, and, and it, it, it's always him and Mike, and it's always yeah, yeah, and uh, but you guys are arch, you guys are arch enemies, arch enemies, but from a distance, like distant lovers. Oh, I know, distant arch enemies. I know, and a long and, distance hateful relationship. Yeah, <laughs> and in Ravager, we we just get like face to face, like awesome. nose to nose, you know, basically like, and he's threatening me, and he's threatening my family, and. And then I just go, no, fuck you. Would you compare <laughs> Reggie's quest to uh, Captain Ahab's in Moby Dick and the tall man in your white whale? Ah, uh, well, that, that's not a bad analogy. Yeah. yeah. He's always escaping you. You've never been able to that's, defeat him. That's He's true. taken so much from you. Yeah. 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 No, that's true. Did you get to drive the uh, Did you get to drive the Charger? <laughs> uh, the Cuda. The Cuda. Yeah, Plymouth Cuda. Yeah, Plymouth well, sure. Cuda. Oh, yeah, I get to rip it up, you know, and... Uh, uh, Don, uh, we've had the same car for, uh, well, we had a different one in, in one. Okay. And then Don went ahead and sold that car. Oh, no. He's always trying to make his money back, yeah. you know. And, and then uh, the the one that we had in two, he kept. Okay. And so that's the one we have now. So he uses them all. Like Sam Raimi, the Evil Dead yep. movies, always uses the same car. The same car. In the Spider-Man yeah. movies, it showed up in. Oh, yeah. And I uh, I get to really rip it up uh, in this one. I get to do some... And that's where the comparison with Supernatural comes in, because they drive around a, a, yeah. uh, they drive around a uh, Chevy Impala. A Chevy, Black 67 Malibu. Chevy Impala. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a... There's a lot of there's... comparisons of Supernatural. Yeah. The, their later car was a Malibu. I thought it was always yeah. been an Impala. No. On Supernatural. We'll have to check that we'll out. We'll have to check guys. that out. Supernatural that fans, out. you can. Uh, Malibu or Impala? Leave a comment in the uh, video section below there, there on, when go. this shows up on YouTube and Bid Me and other places. <laughs> leave a comment on what the car is the brothers of Winchester. Yeah. Brother Winchester Winchester's Drive. drive. Winchester Drive. Right. Wouldn't that be cool if you were on Supernatural? Uh, well, you know, I've. I've I thought it would be cool. You should uh, get your agent to be like, hey, listen. <laughs> I am the agent. Then you should call up the, whoever's the showrunner. <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> and go, hey, man, have Reg. Yeah, Reg, you could be like an old school hunter. You know, maybe drop a nod. Oh, I had a yeah, we, chasing this tall creature around. Run, run into <laughs> each other on the road. <laughs> because you're kind of a hunter yourself. Yeah, you know? I am. I am, yeah. Well, thank you. What are you working on next before we let you go? <clears throat> well, uh, right now we're just you know working Promoting. on yeah okay. uh, getting this out there and and the reboot and you know talking about that okay. and, and making sure everybody knows it's out and about. Yep, and, and they should buy it or rent it. Buy it and and or or both. Yep, 
uh, read. Okay, wait for the physical copy to come out with bonus yeah. material, and you'll be on the commentary most likely again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the best part. I love yeah. watching it and then re listening to the commentary. Because yeah. I, again, I only wanted to watch one and two, and just before five was coming out, before you came here, I watched three or four, and then watched yeah. them again with the commentary, because I was like, ah. Yeah, the commentary. Be serious. Is, yeah, it's a lot of fun because you get to hear inside stories yep. and stuff. And it's yep. Really cool. Cool. Well, thank you so much for taking time out to be on the show, Reggie. Thank you, Chris. I really appreciate it.